All right, hello everybody and welcome in. This is Super Metroid. We're here with Ryan Ford. How's it going? Yo, I'm not bad. Big chillin', big chillin'. How are y'all? Good. Sweet, no, we're good, we're good. This is gonna be quite the run, so I'm looking forward to this, actually. I'll try my best. <laughs> now you got this, Ryan, you got this. Hey, no fresh. I <laughs> only, only for me. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this fired up. I'll uh, prep the save file and everything. So I heard there's a mention about maybe a uh, bid war for save versus kill the animals. That is right. Yeah, is I need right. to find if it's if it was even added because uh, it should have been. <laughs> okay. Now I got to figure out why it's not showing up. Okay, because I definitely didn't submit. <laughs> submitted an incentive, but oh, that's funny. I, uh, <laughs> if you didn't submit an incentive, we don't have to do it. I just that's <laughs> no, but I think somebody just assumed. I, I'm down. I'm down to do it. I just <laughs> I just didn't even think about it. <laughs> so that is an S that moment if I've ever seen one. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I thought I thought that y'all uh, decided since it was like Super Metroid, and I was like, okay, that makes sense. So <laughs> I thought that's what happened, but. <laughs> Yeah, because I was thinking about it earlier today and yesterday, and I was like, huh, I think I forgot to, like, check if there was, like, incentives for, for the event. Right. So. Yeah, I mean, it's the classic, right? <laughs> yep. <laughs> but yeah, so if... Uh, I don't know how long it takes to add to the Tiltify, but if you want to do it, then by all means. Uh, I have just enabled it right now. Nice. So, Beautiful. Uh, all right, get uh, those donations. To donate that. Yeah, get it in now. I, yeah. type, I typed exclamation point donate, so it's a few uh, chatters above y'all, so. <laughs> you know where to look. Get in there, folks. Do you want to save the animals? Do you want to kill the animals? It's up to you. Yep. Yeah, I have a, I have not practiced saving the animals, and it might be pretty funny <laughs> to, to see me uh, flail around trying to do it, but. <laughs> I like it. I like it. So, but yeah, up to y'all. <laughs> that, if that's a little extra incentive for some people, then. Uh... <laughs> I hope I don't forget if save wins also. <laughs> it should be fine, though. Hell yeah. Okay, so... All right, well, let's get it going. All right, so if you want to... Okay, yeah, I'll count down from three for the timer. Um, three, two, one, go. All right, so... <laughs> yeah, I was thinking yesterday how I was going to practice self-commentary for this run, but then... Uh... <laughs> I was out all day for like 16 hours hanging out with a bunch of friends and stuff, so I uh, did not do that. <laughs> but whatever comes off the top of my head, I'll uh, probably think about it. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll throw in some questions here and there just uh, hey. to keep you going. All right. Sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah, there's like not a whole lot going on for uh, <clears throat> the beginning for series. Like those doors are weird, like the way they open. So we have to kind of like. It's optimal to like stop in front of the door and cause it to open and then start running so that you uh, uh, have more uh, run speed going through the door rather than like bonking into the door and then Samus will like slowly start up. So um, during this escape, I'm gonna be just, yeah, trying to not bonk doors is like the big thing. And then there's gonna be uh, steam spurting out everywhere, which is like RNG as well. And um, you hope to avoid most of them. And then, yeah, previously with Ridley, um, I was getting hit by his tail on purpose um, to take uh, 15 damage per hit. Whereas if you take uh, body damage, you take 5 per hit. So um, you need to get into uh, your beeping health to make him uh, to make him run away and then uh, to trigger this uh, self-destruct self -destruct sequence. Mm, so. Okay, I actually didn't know that. I was always wondering why people got hit by him. Yep. You either have to shoot him 100 times and then he'll... Uh, drop the metroid and then pick it up again and then fly away and then this will all happen which we consider defeating ridley but you know 100 shots would take really long so <laughs> yeah that sounds nuts <laughs> yeah so then just yeah damaging down to uh to critical health instead um it's a faster way to get up and yeah his tail moves kind of weird so sometimes you gotta like space out your jumps for the last like two hits properly so that it doesn't that he doesn't like possibly move his tail out of the way and you take like contact damage from his body and take only five because then you'll have to take an extra hit again which just waste time because you gotta go through all the invincibility frames and all that so 
But yeah, so for the, these rooms coming up, um, I'm going to be trying to do a trick called uh, Moonfall. So I have uh, Moonwalk enabled, which um, if you're holding shot and uh, and then hold uh, the opposite direction uh, that Samus is facing, then she'll Moonwalk backwards. And uh, if you do a low jump while holding an angle, then um, give Samus a uh, uncapped fall speed if she's uh, like falling downwards. So... That shaft that I just fell down uh, saves, like, I think around three or four seconds. Uh, moon falling down compared to, like, falling down normally because Samus is, like, really floaty when falling. And um, throughout the run, uh, I think having Moonwalk on, if you do the Moonfalls optimally, it saves about, like, six seconds throughout the run. So it's, like, not a super huge amount for how long this run is. But, um... Most people just opt to <laughs> take the time save. But some people don't because um, having Moonwalk, it's like very easy to accidentally do Moonwalks when you're trying to like shoot at enemies, like fighting bosses and stuff. So yeah, it definitely depends on your comfort. But uh, most like top level runners especially will like use Moonwalk for the, for the free time save. Or sort of free time save, I should say, because it's definitely easy to screw it up. <laughs> Yeah, the, the potential for time save is there. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but yeah, so just getting um, the starting items, so Morph Ball and uh, Missile Pack. Um, yeah, the beginning part's like pretty streamlined for uh, where you need to go, because uh, a lot of doors are locked out, and there's a lot of um, a lot of those like red missile, missile doors that you have to uh, shoot open with five missiles. So you um, have to go up to Bomb Terizo to get the uh, bombs so that we can... Uh, break more blocks and get access to like more of this planet so doing the climb there's uh two different strats that you can do either you can um <clears throat> just like jump on all those like uh thin platforms or you can just do like the single wall wall jump strat like i did there um they're both pretty comparable for uh time so there's a pretty big split on um even like top level runners there's a pretty big split on like what strat that they do for that room so it's like actually like that neck and neck for how fast it is and um i actually don't know which one is faster <laughs> either like i've never got an answer ever when asking i'd assume that there's probably not a huge difference in that case right yeah exactly yeah yeah i'm, I'm, I'm doubting it's exactly the same but <laughs> maybe yeah, but it might be. <laughs> uh earlier i was you you were like running up that room you were just wall jumping like can you just wall jump infinitely in super metro yep wow okay yeah, if there's, a, <clears throat> if there's a wall, you can, um, yeah, kind of like what I'm doing right now, just <laughs> screwing around, you can, um, yeah, do, uh, yeah, it's called single wall wall jumps by just, like, infinitely, like, wall jumping. Nice. And then the other room, the parlor that I was doing, you can, like, wall jump on some of those, um, small platforms that are sticking out as well. And, um, in some spots, it, uh, saves a little bit of time. Um, there's been another strat that I've been doing with platforming occasionally, which has been, um, called ledge grabs where um uh so when you spin jump with samus her like uh body's like contorted a bit so then um if just as you like clear over a platform if you break your spin with uh you can use oh whoops you can use angle up or angle down and um or shooting as well to uh break your spin and then um she'll like land on the platform a little sooner so you know it saves like frames some frames, like, every time you do it, so, like, you know, it saves, like, seconds throughout the run. Right, right. And, yeah, with that, um, <clears throat> so, yeah, I'm gonna be doing, like, trying to do ledge grabs, like, pretty often, um, in a lot of, uh, upwards, uh, platforming sections as well. Um, yeah, if you miss it, though, and just kind of, like, fall down a platform, like, it loses a lot of time. It's, like, <laughs> definitely, uh, vert it. Vertical mistakes usually are, like, more punishing, like, <laughs> going upwards in this game. Alright, cool. So there I did a uh, major major sequence uh, major sequence break called uh, a mock ball. So I went under those um, those gates with all those uh, crumble blocks. Uh, normally you're supposed to have the speed booster to be able to have enough speed to run through it. But um, with the mock ball, so if you uh, morph uh, just before you land, you uh, keep... You keep, uh, you, like, maintain your, uh, run speed that you had when, uh, uh, while you were in there. So, because I had, like, a decent enough, uh, 
start up to gain uh, run speed, then yeah, you can have like just enough. And because when you're morphed, like Samus's uh, ball form is like lower than her her body, then you can like roll under the gates like just barely. Whereas uh, you wouldn't have enough speed to like run through them. All right, and uh, yeah, grabbing more stuff. So there's the yeah more missiles. So uh, throughout this route, I'm gonna try to have. About 20 missiles at max, so every uh, missile pickup I get there is uh, gives you five missiles. And then, yeah, I picked up the charge beam because uh, it's going to be important for um, uh, boss fights particularly. Uh, not the first... Well, I guess only, like, two of the bosses, actually. For the most part. Oh, three of the bosses, actually. <laughs> I lied. <laughs> but, so, how do you only have 20 missiles for the whole run? I feel like that's, like really short for some of the bosses or uh, not short but like a small amount for some of the bosses am i crazy yeah so the fight with ridley especially gonna be rely oh whoops gonna be relying on using uh charge shots a lot versus him gotcha okay and, and do um, they do as much damage as a as a missile well okay in this route <laughs> no if you're doing the old route you would have the plasma beam by there by that point and it actually does do more damage than the missiles and super missiles but um in this route i'm gonna have Oh, what are all the beams I get? Uh, so yeah, charge, hold on, wave. Hold on. Hold on. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna have to explain that, dude. You like you took damage and went flying. What? Okay. <laughs> oh, the so damage boost. <laughs> yeah, but like, why does it fling you in one direction? That's crazy. Oh, you're right. You're right. So you can um, influence the direction that you get um, sent flying when you get um, get hit by stuff if you're not a. Uh... Yeah, I guess if you're not morphed. Um, so if you're holding. Oh, shoot, it's back. Yeah, back. So, like, the opposite direction of where you're facing when you uh, take damage. And hold jump and hold your jump button and back. Then uh, Samus will do, like, this uh, backflip when she gets hit. And, um, Can you just save the yeah, it, like, carries on a lot of speed. So, That's so cool. Yeah, I was able to, like, save a little bit of time in uh, the room with all those, like, spikes and, like, the plants underneath, um, which we call Hellway. And then um, the power bombs that I got as well in that room. I was able to damage boost off of those like yellow uh i was gonna call them balls but they're definitely not round okay one second <laughs> all right cool that's a uh kind of concerning trick sometimes uh so we can uh do another major mm -hmm. sequence break there uh by getting across the moat either with a strat called continuous wall jump where you can um keep your speed on the opposite side of where the that missile that i picked up on the platform you can do a wall jump there, or the strat that I did was a uh, horizontal bomb jump. So, um, you can, uh, get enough, uh, just enough diagonal distance with, like, uh, two bomb jumps, uh, carrying you across. And, um, it's very easy to fall in the water, and since I don't have the gravity suit yet, it, uh, loses a lot of time to, like, have to get out of the water and then try again, so. Um, a lot of times, like, uh... Even, like, veteran runners, too, but newer runners especially are afraid to do this route, which is the uh, Fantoon first route, because of uh, getting across that mode is pretty difficult, um, especially uh, starting out. And then also, this fight with Fantoon, you're very uh, underpowered, so this fight also is, like, more difficult because of that. Which, um, there's way too much about this boss fight to even talk about, but, uh... I hate this boss fight. Like, I, I only play this game casually, and it's it's so annoying. <laughs> I agree. Like, well, I, I agree for casually, I mean, but, uh, I mean, in speedruns, people die all the time, too, even on this boss in this route, but, uh, for me, the casually was, like, ultra difficult to, like, uh, just, like, get through this fight with, like, Sequence, well, if I did any sequence breaking or, like, chose to skip a lot of, uh, energy tanks, then, like, you know, and coming in with only, like, two or something, or three, even, like, uh, it was so hard to, like, survive this fight, um, without knowing how, like, the, the AI works and how to, like, manipulate, like, manipulate Fantoon and stuff. Cause, like, yeah, because, like, I'd get here with way more health than you have, and it's still, like, I would take so many hits. It's so ridiculous. Exactly. And then, like, um, on top of that, it's, like, if you don't hit him right away when he opens his eye, then he'll, like, disappear and be intangible and just drop flames everywhere, and it's, like, extremely difficult to avoid the flames as well. Not the flames. Yeah, they're <laughs> the worst. 
And then he'll reappear in random spots at random timings, and like, he might just reappear like on top of you, and it's like, you know, it's so easy for it. things to just like go out of control. Absolutely. So like, yeah, even for, um, for this run, like if I, I, I screwed up that fight only a little bit, but um, I was able to like, not let him like disappear on me basically, which was like the huge, the huge part. So I ended up killing him in three cycles instead of two, but um, it wasn't too bad. I got um, probably about average RNG as well on that fight. Oh, that's really bad that I took that hit though. <laughs> I got to uh, farm up some health. Okay, that's fine. I need I need to be oh wow I need to be at um above 120 so 121 or more um for uh this room called uh called bowling so there's a bunch of um there's a, there's gonna be a room with a bunch of spikes and normally you're supposed to use the uh grapple beam to um grapple across the ceiling of the room but because i don't have the grapple beam i'm gonna be trying to damage boost through the spikes and uh since i don't have varia suit in this route yet then i get to take 60 damage per hit so you gotta be extra careful um so Oh, go ahead. How many energy tanks do you end the run with? Um, so optimally would be three, but um, for this marathon run for safety, I'm probably going to do four or maybe five for this run. Okay, fair enough. Uh, there might be some judgment calls I might make if I pick up a fifth, fifth energy tank as well. Uh, depending like when I'm getting close to an optional tank that I can grab, I might, if my health is kind of low or something, then I might pick it up since it gives you a heal as well. Fair. So, oh, I love this Chozo statue. <laughs> the the bowling room, as we call it. Yeah, it's... <laughs> putting in the room, the, the work. <laughs> yeah, because he's like holding you up, like <laughs> as if he's about to bowl Samus for a strike or something. <laughs> yeah, it's cool that it like brings you down to this power up, whereas like a lot of the statues usually have um their the power ups just like in their hand, like a lot of the times. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad I to get getting here when I was a kid and it was just like the coolest thing because <laughs> it's like, whoa, what's what's going to happen? Like, I don't understand. Yeah, exactly. Right? It was like a cutscene, and I was like, OK, it just keeps going. <laughs> and the room, it's like there's not much to do in there. So it's like figuring out that you have to like actually morph in the hand and let it hold you too. Because <laughs> aside, aside from that, it's just kind of a, a dead end, right? So it's like, oh, what, what are you even supposed yeah, to do? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, cool. So I got, um, yeah, my health is uh, decent here for this part. Um, since I have gravity suit, my um, damage, the damage I take will be reduced by 75%. So um, a lot of these early area enemies will uh, do very little, very little damage to me. Um, the concerning parts is uh, lower Norfair, which is the next area I'm going to be going to. Um, so I'm going to be trying to do the hardest route, which is, uh... oh, God. <laughs> I can't believe oh. I got knocked up uh, before. <laughs> I, I avoided falling into that flower because it like grabs you and like munches on you, and it uh, loses oh, no. a few okay. seconds. But then yeah. that one other enemy hit me up and like back onto the platform. <laughs> As intended. Like, like just in time. Wasn't even close. <laughs> <laughs> Holy moly. So yeah, I tried to do one of those cool back backflip damage boosts off of uh, that enemy, the Scree that I shot. Um, it bursts into like four particles when you kill it, so then um, you can try to like damage boost off of one of those to like fly through the door and to potentially pick up the if it drops an item to potentially pick it up as well. Which, uh, more often than not, it usually be missiles or a small health, but it could be something nice like a super missile sometimes. So yeah, now I have the spacer, which is kind of like a plasma beam at home. So oh, what the? It does make your shots like. Uh, wider and um, it'll do more damage whenever I shoot at enemies as well. So with the uh, spacer, I'm gonna be also getting wave beam, wave beam pretty soon, and then um, oh gosh, what's the other? Oh, ice beam. Uh, ice beam. We need it to freeze the Metroids later on to kill them faster. Otherwise, you would need like a crap ton of uh, power bombs to uh, kill them. So. Uh, so it's just like way better to get ice beam to oh my god i just wasted a super missile <laughs> that's okay though <laughs> i got a lucky drop from that enemy that i farmed and then i just like shot it away after <laughs> so, yeah. lucky drops in this game feel so nice though when it's like 
when you're just you're fiending for something and it's just like oh there it is yep <laughs> finally yeah because i think they those red like flaming enemies the sovas i think they have oh crud i think i think it's a 20 percent chance to drop a super missile so if there's any that are like kind of on the way i'll like maybe try to farm them and like hope for drops like i got a regular missile from that one which since i'm not full of regular missiles too then that's always welcome and uh, I sh won't get health drops anymore since my health is full right now, so... Uh, sometimes they just... I think they drop nothing. Uh, because they probably rolled to try and drop a health, but... My health is full. But yeah, so this area is pretty cool. Um, so getting Ice Beam here. Um, so... I did another skip with a Mock Ball, so normally, again, you're supposed to have Speed Booster to run under those gates. But, um... Or the second gate that was all the way on the left, but, uh... Yeah, with the Mach Ball, you can uh, get under it as well. So with that, I'm able to get the Ice Beam early. And then, um... So, uh, this room that feels so satisfying to get coming up called um, Ice Escape, which... I hope I get it, but we'll see. Ah, dang. Okay, I'll get the uh, backup, at least. Alright, first try! Yeah, supposed <laughs> to happen? Well, there, okay, sure. Uh, but... <laughs> yeah, I, um... I didn't want to like bonk into that uh, platform that I froze, but I wanted to like shoot it, freeze it, and land on it. And then uh, the other one, I wanted to shoot and freeze it like as soon as I landed on the ground, so that uh, I wouldn't have had to wait for it to go away and then cycle back towards me. Gotcha. So I had to wait for it, and then like from there, you kind of do like a kind of tight mock ball to uh, roll under the under the gates again. Whereas, um, there are some, uh, blocks that you can destroy with, with bombs and go kind of above the ceiling to get out of that room, but, uh, uh, if you have a power bomb, it loses about eight seconds compared to just doing the mock ball to get out of the room. And, uh, if you don't have any power bombs left at that point, then, uh, loses even more time, but, because you have to do another backup instead. But, um, at least, like, successfully got the mock ball for the ice escape, if anything, even though it was, like, slightly slow, like, waiting for that one platform cycle. And then, yeah, another big skip with, um, oh, what, what was that place called? Bubble Mountain. So I was able to kind of wall jump up from the wrong side, which uh, just kind of uh, cuts out a uh, loop around to uh, getting to Speed Booster from here. Whereas you would usually come up from, go, you'd have to kind of go down and like loop around like this area, but I kind of went just like up and over in the same room instead. And then, yeah, with Speed Booster, uh, so when you run straight for a while, Samus will, uh, turn blue and go really fast and then you can break uh, speed blocks you can kill en enemies when you run through them um there's a trick called shine sparking that we can do where if you uh <clears throat> press down when you're blue then it'll store this uh shine spark when samus flashes yellow and then you can use that to like fly across the room um at the cost of some health as well so you have to have enough hp to also be able to do it and then here um Oh, what's this room called? I think this is called Double Chamber, if I recall correctly. So, um, for optimal speed runs, you would usually jump over this missile. So this is the 20th uh, missile pack that I'm getting. But um, in races and stuff, and like even a lot of top level runners still uh, grab that missile um, sometimes. But usually, if you're going for like world record, you'll like probably jump over that missile to skip the uh, seven second fanfare and. Um, uh, just to, you know, squeeze in that extra time save. But it can be uh, kind of punishing later because uh, you might be short on ammo in certain areas, like versus Ridley versus Dragon in the Metroids area. Um, we also need to, like, it's mandatory to have enough ammo for Mother Brain for the first phase to be able to trigger the second phase because uh, you can't do damage with um, charge shots on her at all. So, so it has to be missile? <clears throat> Yeah, so we have to oh. get there with, um, oh, how many, how much ammo is it? Seven, oh, 20, oh wait, what is it again? Oh, you can have um, 15 regular missiles and seven super missiles. Um, I think that's like the minimum requirement for health record. Oh, good try another hard trick. Oh, never mind, I uh, failed the startup, so it's okay. Ah, uh, it's okay. You know what? First try. <laughs> Nailed it. So here's the back of the uh, gravity jump. So um, if I were to die somewhere in the run, this would, would have been like probably a spot that had like a big chance of a death. Where if I screwed up that, uh, so I tried to shine spark up. Um, what's it called? 
Um, yeah, I tried to uh, get, store the shine spark, and I tried to. Uh, I was gonna try and do one of those like backflip damage boosts off of uh, a fireball that was inside the lava, and then um, with that shine spark up to uh, skip getting in to get into Ridley's area early. But um, instead, I did what's called a grav jump, so you can. Um... Oh, that's crazy! I got a. Wow. I'll explain that in a second too. But um. <laughs> It's like potentially oh, a bad thing that might happen, but we'll, we'll see. Due to hilarious RNG, but yeah. No! Oh, this is not good. I choked. Okay, okay. I'm gonna have to actually focus up here because uh, this part's like this area is definitely a uh, part where you, parts where you can uh, die easily. Oh wow. Uh, that was weird. Um, so if I do die though, I did. Uh, make some backup saves, if anything. So, uh, I'll just fire it up. Nah, you won't need them. <laughs> here's open, here's open. So, okay, yeah, so I can chat a bit again. So the, um, enemies here, they do 50 damage each, uh, with the gravity suit, so, you know, if I make mistakes, uh, can very easily lose a lot of health. And, um, worst room in the game where I, uh, just, uh, took a lot of damage. And had to reset the room, uh, so it like lags a lot, and uh, it's kind of annoying to get up the room. Oh no, I. Oh, this is bad. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, well. <laughs> okay, okay. So other things to explain. So how I talked about how that one crazy thing that might have been bad happened. So um, when I was farming those two uh, orb-looking enemies, the uh, violas. Oh no, this is extremely, extremely bad. Don't kill me. Come on. Everything's fine. All right, so I got to... Uh, all right, don't look. <laughs> I got to <laughs> load a uh, backup save, I guess. <laughs> I'm kidding about the don't look. Um, So what was extremely bad that happened was that... um, So the violas, these two uh, orb enemies, they... Uh... Oh my god, what happened? Uh... We're fine, we're fine. <laughs> this is all on purpose. Oh, is this the wrong room? Yeah, it is. <laughs> yeah my uh flash cart hold up yeah so the the viola so um they almost guaranteed drop uh power bombs if you're not full of power bombs and uh one of the two dropped a small health which is a one in 256 chance to happen so whereas a power bomb is like you know 255 and 260 256 chance so uh, because of that, I didn't have enough ammo to get into that next the next section afterwards, and then I um yeah I didn't have enough ammo to get into the next section afterwards because I or enough uh, power bombs because I was supposed to conserve one power bomb because I messed up worst room in the game once and wasted a power bomb, and then I forgot so then I just kind of like autopilot muscle memory uh went on in this room so i was gonna have to as a backup grab what we call the power bombs of shame which was across the room from that enemy that killed me like on the other side of there but then you know he was just like super in the way and i unintentionally took a hit right before him so that was one hit from dying and he had me cornered and then he like caught me so like <laughs> yeah it was just like, like i was a jerk nobody likes that guy. <laughs> exactly it was just kind of like everything unlucky like all at once that happened So wait, what? Wait, how did that happen? So you were, you charged into the ceiling? Yeah. And they died? I'm confused. <laughs> so with the speed booster, um, so yeah, I did the, the shine spark, um, into the ceiling. Oh no, this is bad. Uh, all right, one moment. <laughs> okay, well, uh, okay. <laughs> I'll just skip that health drop there. Okay, gonna be fighting Ridley, so I'll just ramble a bit about, um, yeah, so with the speed booster, I did, yeah, what's called a shine spark, um, into the ceiling and uh those metal pirate enemies they um they get aggressive like they'll let down their armor and try to like <laughs> jump kick you basically <laughs> if you're uh once you're a certain distance away from them like close enough to them then uh it'll uh, trigger them to do that so what i was supposed to do was uh shine spark like a few pixels away from where they would be triggered to uh try to to try to aggro you I'm actually overshot the position a little bit, but I did the spark fast enough that I still... Oh, on the first one, but it still hit him at least, and didn't let him get away. But, um... 
yeah, the, the, the echoes of your shine spark that like kind of fly away from you because I did a diagonal spark, then they kind of like fly, the, the echoes fly diagonally when you do a diagonal spark. Uh, uh, one like downwards in front of Samus and one upwards uh, behind her. And with that, then yeah, you just, it can, um, yeah, the echo will like instant kill uh, those guys. Alternatively, you can kill them with three super missiles, but then that wastes a lot of ammo um, for Ridley, so. Oh, this is really bad. I, uh... <laughs> okay, I can ideally avoid a health bomb, I think. Oh, uh, maybe not. No. Crazy. Um... Alright, so. <laughs> oh, this, this is my fault for going, uh, going this route, but... Hey, I wanted to try it in a marathon for once. Uh, the safer route is to do Kraid before Ridley so that you can grab um, one extra energy tank here. Ah, uh, gotcha. Yeah, yep. so I've seen... This fight is actually hard, though. I'm not going to lie. Like, the, the even, like, in terms of speedrunning, I've seen this go awry a couple of times. Yeah. It sucks that I, I killed him, but when he's at zero health, uh, you have to let him grab you, and then he'll, like, yeah. die while holding you. So he was dead, but then he hit me um, instead of grabbing me. Because um, the last two times he was, like, uh, swooping down to try and grab me, his tail was, like, in front of him, like, blocking, like, him grabbing me, basically. So I got, like, kind of screwed by the, uh... The tail has, like, a separate AI from his, like, from, like, Ridley's, like, movement AI. Right. So, yeah, the tail, like, was just, like, curled, like, in front of him, like, you know, blocking... So it kept like hitting me away from getting grabbed and then well the second one the second time it hit me it just killed me because my health was too low. Ridley's a jerk. Yep. So yeah, I guess sorry if I go overestimate, but at least we were Omega far ahead of schedule. So <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, I don't think you have to worry about that. Yeah. So yeah, these two deaths were like really brutal, but eh, it happens. Um yeah, I think if I ever do this route again in a run, I'm gonna like get like a like a commentator or something because yeah it's definitely like way too difficult to like talk yeah, about the run in certain think. parts so yeah of course of course but hey if you need to focus just dude yeah that's fine <laughs> and then on top of that like i i mean i die often in runs anyway um, just because the nature of this uh route being difficult and everything so right of course <laughs> okay i'll play this a little safer so oh wow that's Insane RNG there. Okay, um. <laughs> nice. He. So, yeah, when he's doing these uh, pogos, I'm just gonna roll under him, and then um, if he's pogoing to the right, then um, I'm going to try to jump and break spin as he's uh, starting to rise up from bouncing, so that it'll uh, make him uh, break his pogo and it'll make him turn around and start pogoing to the left. And, uh,. I'm getting kind of lucky that he keeps starting a pogo every time, at least in terms of safety. It's like kind of slower for this to happen, but okay, he's yeah, dead. Yeah, but I mean, it's going well. Yep, he's dead, but just needed him to grab me instead of uh, chunking my health. Thank you. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> oh my god. It's so annoying. <laughs> yeah, the first time I think I might have mis mispositioned it. And then after the second time, I have no idea, no idea why he didn't grab me, but that's okay. And you cleared it with a ton of health left, so that's nice. Yeah. Uh, I'm opting to grab the, the E-Tank, so I'm going to be full still, but... Um, I'm glad he at least dropped a small amount of ammo. Um, ideally, I would have liked like like more... um. What is it? Probably more, more super missiles, ideally, but... He at least drops, like, not zero super missiles for once, so... <laughs> <laughs> not zero. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Okay, I'm kind of far slowly farming these bugs because I uh, messed up my initial movement coming into the room. And um, you usually try to farm the bugs while like, um, kind of doing tight platforming because there's so many like single tile platforms that are there. So it's easy to just like slip off of them or like jump off of them without running enough distance. And then like, because of that, you don't get enough speed and then you'll just kind of hit the wall of, like, another platform and then fall into the acid, like, stuff like that. So, yeah, for, for the, the rest... damage boosts are so cool to see, dude. You just fly through rooms, just like... <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's crazy. That one on the uh, the big guy that killed me earlier, uh, the Deskiga, like that one. So that guy does like 40 damage, but um, coming out of here, like as long as your health is decent, then um, it's easy to find a damage boost there, and then you can kind of use your invincibility frames to run through the, those other ones that are in your way. Because um, again, because we're also like under geared for the for the fight, then um, or uh, for this area, sorry, because um. With the intended route, you're kind of expected to have Plasma Beam, and it kind of just shreds through enemies, like, very easily, so... Uh, because we don't have that, then a lot of these guys take, like, a lot of super missiles to kill. Usually, or... Yeah, I was gonna say, it's, it's weird, like, seeing them take the damage from it and just keep going, like... Yeah, exactly. It's like, a couple Plasma like Shots might kill them, or, like, yeah. one charged Plasma Shot will usually kill, like, most of the enemies there. But then, um... Yeah, since I have like, yeah, pretty much like everything but plasma <laughs> for for beams. Then <laughs> they, uh... yeah, either some enemies are just completely unaffected by my shots, and then some of them, uh, yeah, just will barely take damage from from most hits as well. And yeah, so <clears throat> a bit of this next part coming up. Uh, I was get it's not really a lull. I, I shouldn't say a lull, but it's like a... <laughs> uh it's at least like safer, so it's like a bit you know, it's like not tense after like all that intense stuff of uh <laughs> after right, yeah. Which is kind of a welcome break, not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. It's gotta feel good for you. Exactly. It's like yeah. any of the mistakes generally would be just like kind of like a bit of time loss here and there, rather than like the risk of dying. And then like potentially like losing minutes, right? Right. Um, I mean, I mean, hey, I'm just I'm taking a look here. We did get a five dollar donation from Cat. It's either Cat's Die or Cat's Day, but either way, thank you very much. No comment, but it did go towards Gaffy and CJ finishing uh, Chain Together, which I really want to see. So please keep your donations coming in, people. Hey, thank you very much. And yeah, excellent excla <laughs> exclamation point donate if you uh, <laughs> if you'd like to pull up. Oh, I guess uh, uh, Shuli actually posted it already, so. <laughs> You can uh, scroll up in the chat a little if you want to. You can find the link right there. Boom, I refreshed it. All right, crunchy. <laughs> Give it it. I'm in there. Uh-oh, that's not good. Uh, I don't hey. care what anyone says. This guy's the most iconic Metro boss. Great. <laughs> yeah, I, I genuinely think that. I don't know why. It's just whenever I think of Metroid, and Kraid comes to mind. Yeah, it's pretty interesting that they uh, brought... Yeah, they brought him back in um in dread as well yeah i thought that was super cool i guess because he's iconic so <laughs> i do like the crane exactly. fight for zero mission as well um well in in 100 category um it's pretty cool but yeah yeah any percent is kind just, of a joke i in feel that like game. a lot of yeah. bosses in this game are pretty <laughs> iconic besides from like fantoon which no one <laughs> everybody just hates fantoon <laughs> Yeah. yeah, Dragon's cool. It's uh, definitely been a run killer for me as of late, the Dragon, but... Um, but it ends today. Here's hoping. It's usually, like, whenever the runs die, it's, like... Because, like, a single mistake will, like, lose, like, a minute or something. That, uh... that That's how the run dies. It's like, usually I'll, like... More often than not, I usually would, like, not die in the run. Uh, versus Dragon, but, like... Yeah, it's just like a, a missed, like, shine spark or something. Good, like. It's hard to recover off of it, and they just bleed so much time, like, doing a normal fight, basically. <laughs> Instead of the uh, speed tricks, I guess. But yeah, I forgot I was actually thinking about getting the E tank in Kraid's area, and then I forgot, so. <laughs> it's fine. There, there's uh, another one here in Meridia that I was going to get for sure, so it's going to go with a uh, 4 tank for the rest of the game. So we're chilling. We're chilling. Yeah, I I'm decently like confident with 4 tank, but there is a chance that I could die to Mother Brain even with 4 tanks, but we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so when I was I looking at my splits, I saw that I was... Over five and a half minutes behind at when I grabbed Vario Sleep. So. 
Something's wrong with your splits, bro. I don't know what to say. <laughs> I demand no a recount. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh wow, pretty nice drops from Drago. I mean, from uh, Botswoon there. Who? Uh oh yeah, I guess there was like a bunch of tricks I did, or a trick I guess I did there. It was um. So the X factor. Um, so if you have power bomb selected and you charge your beam with uh, so if you have charge and then one any other single beam uh equipped so i have just wave beam right now um we have what's called an x factor so these uh purple uh particles will come around samus and they uh each of those particles do the same damage as one super missile so i um had four of them hit uh Batuin right at the start of the fight and then um then i killed him with uh six more uh super missiles afterwards so with that i'm able to like conserve a bit of ammo from that fight and then yeah he gave me uh yeah better than normal drops as well because he dropped uh two super missiles he barely dropped any regular missiles but like the super missiles are very nice because he decently often will like not drop any super missiles so <laughs> it's like kind of frustrating when that happens on a good pace okay i think that was a good opener on dragon there so I did a combination of... Ooh, okay. It's gonna be this pattern. Alright, nice fight. Ah, dang. So, there's a trick I'm trying to do called, um, Spike Suit. Which, um... So, if you take damage while morphed, uh... If you press, uh, unmorph and then press jump again, uh, eight frames after, uh... Like, the last frame where your, uh, hit stun, um ends then samus will do like do a spark a shine spark but then uh for whatever reason it makes you like have a have another shine spark stored that has like a that doesn't have a time limit to carry it because uh normally when you like store a shine spark regularly then uh it'll run out after uh i forget how much time it is i think it's like a second and a half or something or maybe a hundred frames or uh sorry two seconds or maybe like 100 frames some, something like that but it, um, it, uh, but yeah, so if I got the, uh, if I got the other spark, if I got the, uh, spike suit, then I could have used that shine spark to fly across that, uh, Colosseum area where I was doing all the damage boosts off the, the spikes and there was the sand on the bottom and stuff. So it saves a bit of time. But then unfortunately, uh, when I went for the spike suit, I got what's called the bad frame so uh on your second a press since it has to be frame perfect like eight frames after you take uh after you unmorph then um i pressed it exactly one frame too early so it just like automatically uses your shine spark and uh you don't get a spike suit on it as well whereas uh if i was like late or something then i could have um tried again uh tried again like one more time as well but because I messed it up by being exactly a frame too early, then yeah, it was kind of rip. <laughs> but hey, it is what it is. Yeah, man, these things happen. Yep. The um, so yeah, the fight with Dragon as well. Um, so definitely saw that I shine sparked at her twice. Um, there's a bit of a a neat strat where uh, basically there's like four parts to Dragon's body, and um, if you um shine spark at the right height it'll hit like all four parts of those those uh uh all four of those hurt boxes at once so you can do um oh gosh how much damage does it do uh it's like a little over like a third of her health if you do like do the shine sparks like at the right height so uh with the x factor the X Factor, uh, I shot, what, like, five missiles and one super missile, and then, yeah, the two shine sparks, and you can just kill her with, like, yeah, pretty much, like, those, like, four hits in total. Or th those four reps in total. Is that a PBR? <laughs> I got caught. <laughs> Don't tell the children. <laughs> but if you want to help save the children, uh, definitely donate. <laughs> Please do, people. <laughs> Oh yeah, so it would save, save versus kill the animals. Uh, I forgot that's going to be uh, still coming up after Mother Brain, which... Um... Okay, when I looked at my splits again, I saw us again about five and a half minutes behind, so... I'm trying to do quick math on that. 
Yeah, and I'm not sure if this helps you at all, but uh, Save the Animals is in the lead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which I haven't Something practiced. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's okay. Yeah, so I think Maybe in a first try. bit under five minutes, um, then probably going to have to uh, lock in the choice between save and kill the animals. Um, after I kill Mother Brain, um, then that's when that's when we can decide. Okay, sounds good. But yeah, based on my splits, I think it'll probably be like, yeah, like over like a little over four minutes at this point. I'm assuming like you know no weird mistakes, no deaths, and stuff like that. <laughs> so yeah, I have really good ammo coming in here, so uh, I'm hoping it'll be fine. Um, RNG definitely can uh, do anything to you. <laughs> Here, so uh, we need to come out with enough ammo is the big thing, um, and health um, after doing all these Metroid's rooms. So, um, so my max uh, weapon capacity right now is um, so I have 20 missiles and 10 super missiles at max, and um, I need to come out with uh, 20 missiles and nine supers at most. So the ammo I have right now, after I kill these guys, then as long as I have at least the same amount or better, then that's fine. And yeah, so I'm uh, topped off on everything. Um, the other major thing, I need to have my health uh, higher than 301 by the time I defeat uh, Mother Brain's second phase, because she's going to shoot a uh, shoot a rainbow beam at you, and it's like an unskippable cutscene that happens, and it uh, does a clean 300 damage to you. So, um, that's why we need, need at least three E-Tanks for uh, to, to complete the run as well. It's like mandatory even in like low percent so going for the uh new baby skip all right sick <laughs> okay i did the the four jump strat which is the standard you can um do the three jump strat which is like crazy and not many people go for it even in runs so <laughs> um it's definitely not recommended and then yeah if you get grabbed by the baby you get drained down to one health and then uh in a in a cutscene, and then you have to go refill after. So uh, it's uh yeah, it loses like like around twenty five seconds to like fail that skip. So I got it with like no issues. So that's very nice. So next, oh, love to see it. The next big hurdle here, um, these turrets uh can sometimes snipe your shots as well. So uh. You have to, like, really make sure that you uh, don't run out of ammo before you kill that phase of Mother Brain there. Um, that's what I was talking about there, for that you need to have enough, like, uh, missiles and super missiles to be able to start this phase of the fight. Otherwise, you're uh, soft-locked there. Because uh, you can't uh, leave the area as well, so then you're uh, just completely stuck if you uh, run out of ammo. But yeah, so Mother Brain takes... Um, 60 charge shots to defeat, so same as Ridley, actually. Uh, she has the same health. And, um, yeah, so I'm ideally trying to take as few hits as possible because, yeah, again, I need to have my health at higher than uh, 301. Uh, at least 301 to uh, be able to survive the fight. So these blue rings, which we call. <laughs> we have all the, all the attacks are like named after food from the community. So the blue rings are onion rings. Uh, the bombs nice. or meatballs. <laughs> okay. A yellow laser that uh, tried to snipe me in the air is the French fries. And then, uh, there's like a delicious meal. <laughs> yep. I don't, I don't want any sides or servings though. So hopefully she uh, tries to give me a small order that I can like throw away, you know? And then this big red beam here is the ketchup, which, uh, it does a hundred damage. So I have to be really careful to not get hit by that. The other big thing is that, um, that ketchup beam, sometimes when it hits you, it might, like, it might hit you twice on the same frame for, like, no reason. So, you can just, like, lose 200 health in one shot sometimes uh, by it. So. Wow, okay, that's a lot. And, yeah, so if I got double hit by the ketchup with only four tanks, then um, it's automatically a game over. So, <laughs> that's kind of, like, the only danger, the, mostly the dangerous thing that could have happened for, like, the remainder of this run. Right. That, that part right there terrified me on my first run. Well, not run, my first playthrough. Yeah. I was just like, what is going on here? Because you can't move as well. <laughs> you yeah, like, exactly. You press, like, up on the D-pad and Samus will, like, stand up and then, like, kneel back down. And you're just like, wait, I can't move. 
Yeah, I was like, I did everything right. No, <laughs> I thought I was just losing. <laughs> and so like charge up again too, and it's like scary. So yeah, so yeah, so the reason we get three energy tanks, as I explained, was that um, yeah, we need enough health to survive that rainbow beam I just took. But also, the game doesn't check Samus's damage with that that rainbow beam with uh with gravity suit. Like the gravity suit doesn't reduce uh damage on it. Only the Varia suit does for some reason. So. Um, if I didn't grab the Varya suit after beating Kraid, uh, it would still do 600 damage as well. So, either you would have to get 6 E-Tanks or get the Varya suit as well, and, you know, getting one pickup versus getting, like, three extra items. Obviously, the one item is faster, so... Well, one, the one item is faster because it's not, like, out of the way. It's, like, in the next room after you beat Kraid, which we have to beat Kraid, so, yeah. So that's uh, pretty much the reason. And then um, if your health is above 100, uh, Mother Brain will try to damage you down as well uh, to get you under 100. And then uh, then that cutscene where the baby makes the ultimate sacrifice will uh, will happen. So um, I purposely took some hits to uh, damage down to uh, under 100 or under 300 before I got hit by the uh, the rainbow beam as well. So that's why I like walked into her foot uh, two times as well. I almost forgot too. I was like, oh wait, I'm at like 430 or something. So I needed to get to like 399 or less instead. Oh yeah, so I guess we can do the cutoff for uh, save versus kill the animals here. Now that uh, Mother Brain has been thoroughly toasted. I'm just double checking here and save the animals is the winner. No! <laughs> I'm just kidding. But... <laughs> Well, I've always for save the frames, but but yeah, thank you all for uh, donating for. Uh, yeah, you you knew this was coming as soon as you said that you hadn't practiced it and it'd be funny. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It was guaranteed. It was guaranteed. <laughs> I just had to make sure I don't forget as well. All right, so I'm having a little trouble with that room, but it's okay. At least I didn't fall all the way to the bottom. So here, oh, he shot me out of my moonfall as well. Mm -hmm. Um. Yeah, so you can like save a bit of time with that that long moonfall down there as well with the moonwalk turn on. But not if that guy just uh, shoots you. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right, I'll try one more time. <laughs> you got this. Oh my gosh! I was supposed to do a diagonal spark, which actually lets lets you clip through the uh, that platform on the top that I bonked underneath. Uh, you also clip through that and bonk on the ceiling, and then you can land on that platform as well oh my goodness <laughs> don't move it okay i remember the animals we're good <laughs> yeah i think <laughs> it loses it go, i think optimally it loses i forgot how much time 27 seconds or something like that so i gotta shoot this door and uh yeah they should leave because <laughs> of that so yeah thanks for donating there's uh there's the saved animals for you right there beautiful you so rarely get to see it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The little cute guys. But uh, saving the frames is uh, sometimes more important. So time's coming up when I press down on the ship. And time. Oh my oh. lord. I was overestimate okay. by half a minute. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. We were, uh, we were way ahead of schedule, so that works out perfectly. Exactly. <laughs> Gave me the chance Good to... Job. uh <laughs> To test the waters with this run in a marathon, so, or this exactly. route in a marathon, since we were yeah, so yeah, yeah, exactly. No, <laughs> and it went it went smoothly overall, I'd say. Yeah, it's not bad. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it uh, well, obviously went worse than I wanted, but it was like, it could have gone so much worse, honestly. <laughs> so I yeah, think no, I played like pretty well in a lot of spots, but then just had some. I agree. Like no, was, crucial errors good, here and there. Do you have any shout outs or anything like that before we uh, wrap things up here? Yeah, for sure. And yeah, good luck to Fortify on the Dread run as well. But <laughs> I'll definitely see you all in chat. <laughs> but yeah, uh, first off, thank you very much for the donations again. And uh, exclamation point donate if you want to help save the children. Um, additionally, if you want to shoot me a follow, I'm at uh, Ryan underscore Ford 522. But you'll, you'll see my name in chat because I'm probably going to type donate at some point. So <laughs> um, <We> appreciate it. <laughs> Uh, what else? Yeah, I've uh, speedrun a variety of games, so I've learned, like... Oh, well, the shoutouts are there, but I'll still type, type donate at some point. Um, 
yeah, it's a speedrun of a variety of games. So I've learned like, what, 14 speedruns at this point, which uh, all of them except Mario RPG, I learned like after COVID happened to so, like 2020 till now. So, um, yeah, you probably never know what game you're going to see <laughs> if, you, if you tune in. So. <laughs> But lately I've been grinding Super Metroid a lot because I'm trying to get a uh, 43 or 42, ideally. That's what I'm hoping for. It's, uh, my personal best is a, like a mid-44 right now. Okay, nice, nice. So I'm trying All to right. cut that down. Yeah. But yeah, All I've right, uh, guys, well, run this uh, game for a year and a half. Okay, yeah, <laughs> that's all I wanted yeah, to add. No, in, no, so. no, which is fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah so yeah. I was just gonna say, yeah, we're gonna wrap things up here. Uh, but you know, stay tuned. Don't go too far. Uh, you know, keep uh, keep some snacks nearby. Open up your wallets a little bit. You know, get some donos in. Mm -hmm. We'll be back shortly uh, with uh, Fortify running Metroid Dread and MG. So we'll see you then. Peace.